Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with one of the schools that always tends to pull it out of the bag. So, who do I have here? Who are we? Bishop Stockford! Mm. Now that's the intro, right? So guys, are you excited about today? Yeah. Are you excited? Give me some energy. Are you excited about today? And what makes you excited about today? Come on, who's the speaker? Who wants to tell us? What makes you excited? You know what? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I guess like today, um, specifically to do with our piece as well, it's like a message for like everyone, but specifically like the younger generation to, you know, prove like who you are and don't fall like victim to the system. Yeah, yeah. So, as we know, the last few years, there's been so much stuff going on over the last few years. Has that inspired your piece today? Yeah? Yeah, why would it inspire your piece? Um, in the last couple of years, you know, it's, it's been a, the, the world has been going through a lot of things, you know, and then especially in the younger generation, I feel like we're affected a lot by that. And I'd say in our piece, it's almost without spoilers <laughs> it's almost our way of like expressing those feelings that we didn't get to let out all those years and showing that to the people around us and showing that to our peers as well and showing them that it's okay to speak out about those things why is the rudolph walker interschool drama award so important um i feel like it's important for us to be able to share like our personal experiences and like it's given us a platform to like be able to tell everyone how we feel and life is really short like we've even lost one of our former drama students Andre long live Andre so we know that like life is short we need to take advantage of platforms and what made you guys want to get involved yourselves uh, we wanted to know that we have a voice because we feel like as we're a younger audience we tend to be silenced a lot because they think oh they're young they don't know anything so this is more of a way where we can express it and have fun with it at the same time I feel like some people can actually throw ourselves into you. So who was your celebrity mentor? Stevie. Stevie, Stevie man. how was he? Good. He was good what made him good? Like even when like we were struggling with like confidence and stuff, he sat us down, he talked to us, he was giving us pointers, stopping us, telling us what to do, like he was really helpful. So if there's something that you could say to Rudolph Walker to say thank you, what would it be? Oh. <laughs> um, thank you for giving us a platform. It really matters to the younger generation because obviously there's issues that people may talk about today where they might they wouldn't feel comfortable talking about it on like a normal basis. So this just gives them a uh, character to disguise their true feelings behind and helps them actually drive out their issues and get their concerns off their chest. Okay, so let me ask this question. So Bishop Stockford, so where about are you? Where about are you based in the world? Enfield. <laughs> Enfield. So what is it like growing up in Enfield? Uh, 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 uh. Um... <laughs> Well, it's, it's kind of a character building area, car. It's like almost every day we experience something that's like you won't see, especially in this area. And like, to be honest, it's just like the level has just increased, increased on like int intensity, which has, you know, ultimately, you know, made us the people we are today. Like more wise, more street wise. Yeah. So listen, to everyone in Enfield, we have a school that's saying they're going to bring the trophy back, right? Yeah, man. Are you yeah. going to win it? Yeah, man. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Yeah, man. Yeah. Are you going to knock it out of the box? Yeah, man. What school do I have here? We Bishop Stockford. <laughs> Let's get it.
Cycles of silence. 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 Cycles of silence.
for me. I ain't got time for play. So if one of those cowardly hands ever had the guts to put a letter in mine, I'd imagine you'd say, what, what world do we live in? Do our kids only see wonder and torture sky? Because we washed all our blue ones onto the sidelines. You see that? Finally. Words from my mouth that's kind. What? Insight from eyes, unblind, picking up on all those infamous signs. Way too calm, I must rebind. But every time you stared up at that blue dye, a child died in the battleground staring up at that same sky. Oh, oh, but you didn't have a phone. You had an ice cream cone. You had the newest edition of New Edition singing, Mr. Telephone Man, something wrong with my life. When I dial my baby's number, I get a click every time. <laughs> You know the rest of that. Think about it. You go on Twitter right now. I see a dead man. Think about it. I can scroll down. It's an ocean filled with fanta cans. Scroll down again. That's a white girl with spray tan. So dark. I thought she was my man. What? <laughs> see, this is what you couldn't see. These young people have been exposed to variety. Whether it's clothes, culture, fashion, or war. When I pick up my phone, I'm not just, I'm not just styling calls. I'm tuning into reality. What? A window to the insanity that my arms aren't big enough to break into yet. So. So when I snap a photo, right, when you would have gazed out windows, it's because I don't know how many more views I'll get. Ah, uh, you think that's a real problem? I'm gonna start with you think that's what our me. generation should be focused on? Because I know you do. Shut Ooh. up. Me, a small black girl born with 4C hair, and the mother didn't have the time or patience to deal with a crying child when trying to detangle it. So what did she do? Relax it. I mean, it was okay through primary school, because if you didn't have relapsed, you weren't part of the cool girls club. It wasn't until around 2018 secondary school when everyone started to get into their natural phase. And here was me, a babe. A babe. <laughs> With healthy relaxed hair, but damaged natural hair. I mean, I can always just cut it off, but there was the fear of coming to school and the boys saying, <laughs> I show way you trip still. <laughs> so I decided to keep it and do the. Oh, your hair's still relaxed. Or the. Why don't you just get an apple? As if that was not hard enough, the top of the skin complex she was highly in favour. All boys could say was. I move, man, I want a light skin thing. Or that. Ugh, she's too dark for this school. So imagine how that must have been for me. A babe was hair that wasn't much favorable and a body that was still trying to grow and develop. So what did I do? I decided to keep my head down and focus on schoolwork. That was until COVID came and wrecked everything. yourself. Yet you, you smile to deflect from your mental health. You do wrong to deflect from being you and letting those know that you're scared to speak. What do you mean scared to speak? Man, I know I'm not weak. Weak isn't always physical. Weak is comparing yourself to one and judging another. Weak is not talking up. We cannot want you to hear the truth. So, what is the truth? There is no truth. We're told black is beautiful, black is great. But we're also told black is aggressive, black is rude, black determines our fate. Looking in the mirror. Shoot! Hold on, hold on. Shoot! Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Looking in the mirror? Is it me? Or is it who society wants me to be? And all of us complain, but how many of us take action? What, what do you know? I know that you can hear me now. Hear someone. Maybe you'll be heard too. What? Me? You, bro. Heard? Heard? You see, all my life, I was held back. Tyrannized, oppressed. Nothing I supported meant anything to anyone. You see, every night I dreamed about having my hand raised and being crowned the conqueror of my craft. But over and over, I was reminded. Oh, this is a doctor. I got a BA. Doctor. Or a lawyer. Order. Or even a um, a politician. <laughs> but I will never, ever, ever spend my life. Wasting away when I know I am destined for greatness to be what I want to be. That's right. Well, Not what's expected of me. You see, that's like if if Jay-Z, Jay-Z, you know Jay-Z? Yeah. That's like if he never went platinum. You know. Prince William ain't do it right if you ask me. Hey. If I was him, I would have married Kate and asked Ashley. Him. You know, in Paris. <laughs> oh, let's take Barack Obama. You know Barack Obama. Everyone knows Barack Obama. Come on, that's like if he never became the first black president. I will, I shall never be another failed black statistic in the system. I'm trying to be up there with the greats. This is who I am. This is who I'll be. This is who I'll be known as. The one and only. I am the one and only. And can never be duplicated. I. I'm the one and only. I can never be duplicated. I am the one and only. I can never be duplicated. I am the one and only. I can never be duplicated. You, you are, are the, the one, one and only. I can, can never be duplicated. duplicated.